That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Thank <laughs> you. 
when I got you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. <sighs> you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> Do you really believe in all that... that stuff that you said? About the cataclysms? The apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for. Or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I... When I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? <laughs> yeah, I would, like you can imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. We can get through here. Give me a hand. <laughs> See that? It must be Kwakyaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on. Stay close to me. 
This is definitely not a path. Oh. Oh. God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh, oh God. You. You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. I hope that Can't the quite make the dialect out. The bridge is down. Maybe we could lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want there might be a release valve on top of the water tower. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd never paid more attention to those things. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. What about you? Ever do Girl Scouts or nature camp as a kid? Hmm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. There might be a release valve on top of the water tower. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Let's let it go, slowly. There might be a release valve on top of the water tower. There might be a release valve on top of the water tower. something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. <sighs> the water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Ugh, the bucket's leaking. Come on back. We'll try again. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. <laughs> Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I 
think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. Could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. <clears throat> Did your dad's notebooks say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. Passageway. That's promising. Remind me how the riddle goes again. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How far do you think it is to Kwak Yaku? Assuming we're going the right way? Mm, hard to say, but the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People will hear it some point. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one.
Lara, are you okay? Laura!